What's up, Ruth? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's ready to read you guys. If you're new, welcome to the family. I'm Ruth. I'm 18 and I'm gonna graduate high school. Okay, and I'm from Houston, Texas. Don't forget that. Okay, y'all, today we're gonna be reacting to a very well, well, a well known artist in the UK called Dave. Um, he, we're gonna be reacting to his, well, I guess, performance, live performance at the Brits 2020 um to the song black and honestly i don't even know what to expect because he's at a piano but you know let's just jump right into it you know it's four minutes Ooh, i like long stuff okay here we go let me stop okay starting off really slow and i'm not used to that but it's not a bad thing. Look, black is beautiful, black is excellent. Black is pain, black is joy, black is evident. Working twice as hard as the people, you know you're better than... Oh my God. I didn't know the song about like empowering, you know, the black community. Well, literally, it doesn't even have to just apply to the UK, but worldwide. So we're gonna be, we're gonna um play back what you just said. Black is beautiful. Black is excellent. Black is pain. Black is joy. Black is evident. Working twice as hard as the people you know you're better. Working twice as twice as hard as the people you know you're better than. Like, why is that like not a lie? Like, I lit. I don't even want to get into this, but like literally, I could work. Like I have a friend. I work, swear to God, like two, like not like two hundred times harder than she does, and still, she'll get the opportunity before I do. And that's what I had to learn in life. People start further. Like people, there's no there. If people have different head starts, like you have, sometimes you start farther back than other people, and. You have to realize that's just life. Like people, some people start, you know, with the head start. Like it's not, it's, it's really true like that. Then, cause you need to do double what they do so you can level them. Black is so much deeper than just African American. Our heritage been severed. You never got to experiment with family trees. Cause they teach you out famine and greed. Show you. Hold on, rewind you guys. Turn this thing down. Pictures of our. He's been back. Black is so much deeper than just African American. Our Black is so much deeper than what than African American. Like that's a that's a line that a lot of people need to hear and understand. That it's not about like African American. It's like it. There are different types of black people. I don't even know why I even have to say that. But like I realize you have to say that because people think there's only like one. I know I met people who think there's only one type of black person. Like like loud like people think loud you know always has different hairstyle like there are different types like we come in all types of shapes and colors it has been severed you never got to experiment with family trees could they teach you out famine and greed show you pictures of our family and knees tell us we used to be barbaric we had actual queens Black telling us we used to be barbaric but we have actual let me stop pausing it every time because every time every line is just like so enticing he's watching child soldiers getting killed by the children feeling sick so quick this could have happened to me Mommy watching, telling stories about your dad and your niece. Listen, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Kid dies, the blacker the killer, the sweeter the news. And if the blacker the killer, the sweeter. Just let that think. Like, let that, just think about that for a second. And look at the caption right here. Senseless death teen, 17, stabbed to death over phone charger row. Blood bath Britain, this war won't end. London gang murders on the right. I'm pretty sure why police don't understand to stop young black men stabbing each other don't uh... if he's white you give him a chance he's ill and confused if he's black he's probably armed you see him as shoot look black is growing up around a barbershop mommy says stay away from trouble you're in yard a lot studying for ages appreciating a chance you got because black is in your blood and you ain't even got the heart to stop black is stepping in for your brothers because your father's gone standing by your children when you haven't proven karma wrong black is doing all of the above then going corner shop trying to help a lady cross the road to have her walking off black is growing up around your family and making it being forced to leave the place you love because there's hate in it being forced to leave the place you love. Black is being forced to leave the place you love because there's hate in it. 
that's a lot of black people out there. Like, we have, like, if you, and this isn't the case for everybody, but if you want to be successful, sometimes you have to step outside. You have to leave your environment. Like, you have to leave what's home and find a different home. Like, you need to, you got to surround yourself with different things, like, better things. And I'm not saying that's everyone's situation or anything, but a lot of black people have, like, have had to do that. I've heard black people say, like, this guy came to my church. My church is predominantly white. Um, and he was like, I had to change. Like, I had, he had, like, um, like, think, he had, like, a Keyshawn. Like, his name was kind of, like, Keyshawn. But it wasn't exactly Keyshawn, but I'm using an example. His name was Keyshawn, right? And he said that he had to change his name to, like, Anthony or, like, uh, Christopher. Because whenever he applied to places under Keyshawn, they were like, nah, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound good. So he had to change his name so he could get jobs. Like, why, like, why do we have to do that? Like, why? People say you're faking it. Never stay for changing it. But black is being jealous. You'd be dead if you had stayed in it. Black is struggling to find your history and tracing it. You don't know the truth about your race because they're erasing it. Black has got a really sour flavor. Here's a taste of it. But black is all I know. There ain't a thing that I would change in it. Black is all I know. There ain't a thing that I would change in it. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? That that black is all I know. And anything I would change. I just want to get into that. Like people say, like I hate it when black people say, like I really hate this when they say you're whitewashed. That is so annoying. It's really annoying, honestly. And I hate when black people say that because just because someone talks like proper or, or what you deem as white, like honestly like what is that like you like that is so annoying like i promise you just because i talk certain ways or i react to things certain ways it doesn't mean i'm any less black than like someone who lives in third ward or someone who lives in a fancy house like it doesn't really matter how we talk to each other like we need to stop saying people sound like you're whitewashed that is so annoying and to some people offensive like it makes you like it's kind of like you're belittling like my my race like i'm not like come on like don't say that i really don't like when people say that honestly it's very annoying it makes me feel like you're think it makes me feel less lesser less black like that's really what it is less african-american <laughs> Look, black isn't a single color, man, there's shades to it. Her hair's straight and thick, but mine's got waves in it. Black is not divisive, they've been lying and I'm hating it. Black has never been a competition, we're all making it. Exactly. Black is not a competition. We're all making it. Why are y'all always trying to compete? Like, I feel like sometimes we be trying to, like, compete with each other, like, Light skins versus dark skins. Dark skins versus light skins. Like, like, it's not a race, you guys. We are in this together. We should be standing together, you guys. But I, don't know, I, remember, I know y'all remember that one year where everyone was like, light skins versus dark skins, dark skins versus light skins. Like, that is so, like, why are we pitting ourselves against each other? Like, that is goofy. <laughs> I didn't realize how goofy that was. So, like, well, I mean, I realized prior to this, but, like, when he said it's not a, we don't need to compete with each other, like, Back. Black is deadly. Black is when you're freezing in your home and you can't get sleep, but never feeling empty because you got 20 cousins in your country living stress free, walking for their water daughter wrapped inside a bed sheet. Black is distant, it's representing countries that never even existed while your grandma was living. Black is my Ghanaian brother reading into scriptures, doing research on his yes, ninja tribe now that he's Egyptian. Black is people naming your countries and what they trade most Coast of Ivory, Gold Coast, and the Grain Coast. But most importantly, to show how deep all of this pain goes, West Africa, Benin, they call the Slave Coast. West Africa, Benin, they call the Slave Coast. Not lying. That's so confusing because the culture they're in love with it. Oh, oh, wait, y'all, listen, listen to this line, he says. To help with culture, their name goes, West Africa, Benin, they call the slave coast. Black is so confusing, could the culture, they're in love with it. Take our features when they want and have their fun with it. Take our features when they want and have their fun with it. Like, why, y'all? Uh... I remember a time when being black wasn't fun. Sometimes, be, honestly, being black, it's not even like, like, sometimes I feel like people say, I like, like, you see on TikTok, I like black girls, I like black girls. But, like, 
why are you using it to cloud chase? Like, what is wrong with y'all? Like, honestly, that is so, like, it's the cloud chasing using, like, people will put black in their titles. BLM, like, when they really don't believe that. That's what really triggers me. Like, people will say stuff. They'll try and take things from, like, black, like, African-American culture and then, like, spin it towards them, themselves. And it's just, like, you don't even understand what it means to have this, wear this, and, like, what you're doing when you do what, like, when you do those things, when you're taking things from us like that. And I just find it, ho like, hilarious that so they're feening for it now. Before they weren't. The all the things you know will come with it. Loud in our laughter, silent in our suffering. Black is being strong inside the face of the feet. Poverty made me a beast. I battled the law in the streets. Well, you struggle, but your struggle ain't a struggle like me. Well, how could it be when your people gave us the odds that we beat? I mean, bloody hell. What about our brothers that are stuck in jail that couldn't bust the bell? They held a bird and got a... If y'all notice, as like he's doing all of these raps, like, and I like that they're both wearing, if you look at them, like, I just, looking at both, he has white on, he has black, but he's white and he's black, wait. He's white and he's black. And as you can see, like the little like screen in front of them, they're not doing too much. Very simplistic performance, but it means a lot. And this thing is morphing into every line that like every line he's saying, it's it's connecting with that line. He's talking about jail. It's, it's morphing into this. He's talking about heritage. It morphed into a book like it's just moving and, you know, it just keeps changing and transforming according to whatever he's saying. And I love that they're both. He's repping black, but he's repping white. Like they're a you they're they're united, if that makes sense. Black is being guilty until proven that you're innocent. Black is saying free all of my people stuck inside of prison cells. Think it's funny we ain't got nothing to say to them. Unconditional love is strange to them, it's amazing. Black has really got the sweetest flavor. Here's a taste of it. But black is all I know. There ain't a thing that I would change in it. It is racist, whether or not it feels racist. The truth is our prime ministers are real racist. They our hold on he said the truth is our prime minister is a real racist i don't know much about british poli politics or anything like that and i honestly don't even know what a prime minister does so i'm not even gonna like pretend that i know what he's talking about but i'm de he's definitely calling the man out say you should be grateful at the least racist i say the least racist is still racist and if some I say the least racist is still racist. Facts. Facts. That's because you... Just because you're like, I believe in half of that. Like, I believe in the in the, the BLM movement, but I don't believe in everything. I still think that black people should, da -da -da, you know, they should appropriate, like, appropriate. Um, or is that the word? But they should still do this or that. Like, you sound... And if you, and if you say the N-word... And you are Caucasian. And you say it when you're no black person's around. But when pe and people find out that you say it and you're like, no, 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 like, no, no, no. Like you're trying to defend yourself why you say it. That is racist. Like I don't, I don't understand. <sighs> Somebody hasn't said it. Equality is a right. It doesn't deserve credit. Now, if you don't want to get it, then you're never going to get how the news treats Kate versus how they treated Megan. Rest in peace, Jack Merritt. You're my brother in arms. There's tears in our eyes and love in our hearts. We know Jack Merritt. Who, who is that, you guys? Like, honestly, I don't know who that is. A lot of UK news doesn't reach America because it's, like, not filtered in here. Like, it is not recommended around over here i have the same background culture color or past but you devoted your life to giving others a chance and for that i'm so taken aback because he gave us all a voice i have to say it for jack oh these are all people that have helped like the have been a voice towards like the black movement or a Black Lives Matter movement in the UK. As a young black man to see paper and crack, giving tougher sentences, it's just paper and cracks. All he would want is unity, funding for communities, equal opportunities, people under scrutiny, no more immunity, way less hatred, more conservation, less deforestation. We want rehabilitation. Now that would be amazing. But Grenfell victims still need accommodation. And we still need support for the Windrush generation, reparations for the time our people spent on plantations. Um, what 
I'm done. Like, did he did he freestyle this? Because if he did, I'm very well. Even if, if he did or did it, it doesn't really matter because the song was very beautiful. Um, I see why you guys wanted me to react to this. Um, I do have a few, like, sometimes when I watch things like this, you know, it just makes you, like, your heart thump faster, your, your mind race quicker. And it just makes you think about all the times things happen to you that, that you didn't even realize were racist when you were younger, but you realize now because you're older. And I can't even tell you, I work, where I work at, like, I've had conversations about why people have, I told this white boy, he couldn't say the N-word around me because, or or at all, really. And he was like, well, why can't we say it if you say it? If you say it, why can't I say it? Like, what? What? Why are you arguing with me to say the N-word? That's weird. That's weird. And then, like, when I was younger, I was in sixth grade. I remember this very well. I went to Polly Ryan Middle School. Um, and I'll say the name because it doesn't really matter to me. I'm not, I don't, um, I don't really go there anymore. Middle school or junior high, something like that. Middle school, probably. And there was these guys, and there was a gorilla in the book, in a little, like, colored book or, like, um picture book. And, like, my face looked like... They said that I look like a gorilla in the book. Like, repeatedly, they'd be like, you're a gorilla, you're a gorilla. Like, you look like a gorilla. Like, they would call me that all the time. And I didn't even realize... Or, like, a monkey. They also said monkey a lot, too. And I didn't even realize at that time what that meant mind you these are all you know caucasian boys what well, they were they were, yeah they were caucasian um one was like um mixed race he was mixed asian with something else asian and white i believe and it just baffles me that i didn't even know at that time that that's i didn't know like so i was just like oh my god they just climb a girl but like that's there's a deep there's a deeper meaning to it i didn't even know that um, very bamboozled, and I wish that I was educated earlier on, on in my childhood so that I could have responded to those situations better than I did. Um, but yeah, it's all about educating your kids, honestly, because there's a lot of things younger Black people have let slide in our um, adolescent years that we shouldn't have, and it's because we didn't know what was going on. Anyways, I really did like this song, 100%. Um, is it even done? Like, <laughs> but it's done now but please like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel once again dave was a wonderful artist 100 percent, probably one of the best uk artists i've listened to that i've reacted to through my whole reacting series because it, it had a really good meaning and it made sense like the song made sense everything the like it was just if you looked at key parts in his performance you'll understand what i mean um, that it definitely had a storyline. But anyways, please like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I know I stopped a lot in between the, the song, the the song. Yeah, but I'm um, sorry. It was almost 20 minutes. Oh my God. Okay. Anyways, bye.